So we got a huge, huge uh, video today, a lot to go over. This is one of the best ones I think that I can ever bring you guys, not just from the, tr the return. I mean, the return's all right. It's about 2.32, but really the content of what we're going to go today is going to give you a ton of confidence on where to put your money, how to invest, and knowing what's going on. So uh, if it's the first time watching the video, just an FYI. Um, the chart that I'm going to show you, the, the spreadsheet is going to be, there's a link to it inside the video description. Also, if you haven't signed up for a Robinhood account, you can get a free stock there as well. There's a link in the video description. Uh, but today we've been talking a lot, or the last couple of weeks we've been talking a lot about inside trading. And I used to be a, um, a senior manager in a Fortune 500 company. I was one, I think, one of, I think, maybe 10 people in the whole company that was like, they called us restricted access. Uh, and basically what that meant is that um, there was only eight days per year that I could trade my own company stock. We would have our quarterly earnings like presentation, the earnings call, and then I could trade it the next day and the following day, and that was it. Um, and I'll tell you, there's, I mean, I knew a little bit, but not enough to like, you know, kind of go, oh my gosh, I know all this stuff. I'm going to get rich on it. I mean, that's really not the case. But if you're looking at the data that's going in the market right now, it's almost like you're trading like you're an inside trader. So we're going to talk about um, some of that today. If you haven't watched some of the videos from the last few weeks, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, one of my big, big segments that I've believed in from the jump, <clears throat> and a lot of people gave up on it a long time ago, and they're paying the price. Well, actually, they're paying me because the stock price is going up. Uh, our casino. So we have two big casino jumps today. Number one, we have Every. This is a, it's not a casino, but they do um, all the ATMs and financial card transactions for casinos. So um, they're huge. They're everywhere. So the more people are spending money and going to a casino, the more money they're going to be making. So these people were up 10% today. It's a beautiful thing. And then Brahma Resorts, which was my hottest stock for a while, and I still think it's going to come back and probably be my number one stock overall, uh, went up 6% today. And they do casinos, um, smaller casinos than the ones in Vegas, but casinos nonetheless. All right, we've been talking the last couple of weeks about the fact that the tide is turning um, and that you have basically, there's not a whole lot of, of reason for people to feel pessimistic about the economy about going out i mean we went through the first lockdowns and people i think summarily realized how much they did not like being locked down and so as we had an uptick of cases after the protests and violence that happened in june shocker shocker that who would have thought that you go through a pandemic and you get tens of thousands of people going out screaming yelling and congregating in mass and all of a sudden, in the next few weeks, four to six weeks, you get an uptick in cases. Shocker. Can you believe that? So now that that has already passed and is going down, and we're going to talk more about the details of that, um, you're seeing overall the trend on travel and basically entertainment is going up dramatically and across the board. So that's another sector that I'm huge in. So let's talk about VVI. This actually used to be Greyhound. Yes, the bus company, Greyhound. Uh, but they do, for those who aren't familiar, they do um, iconic natural and cultural destination experiences. So just think like national parks and things like that. Um, and they do live event service, which of course got nailed by coronavirus. But that one's up 11% today. So again, if it was one stock, it, there's nothing really to talk about, but we're going to talk about some other ones. Now, on the other side of that, we have AVCT, which went down 16% today. And you're thinking, why are we talking about that? One, it's not a travel stock. And two, it went down 16%. Well, because this is a company that benefits off of the virtual economy. So the more people are staying at home, the more people are going to be, um, you know, the more that this company is going to thrive. Now, it is an excellent company. It just went through a merger and bought out another company. And that one's getting rave reviews. So I'm not ready to dump it yet at all. Um, but this one will be a good performer, but not a great performer. I mean, it's already up close to 80%. We'll look at it. And it's a short period of time. So it's a great performer, but not according to the standards that we set here in the portfolio that we talk about, which is much better. And tripling our money is a great performer. 80%. It's good. It'll get you a seat at the table. 
All right. Uh, after that, we're going to talk about airlines. Uh, three airlines went up really big today. United went up 7% today. American went up 5% today. And Spirit Airlines, the most evil airline ever, went up another 5.5% today. So that's a great sign. It means there's more confidence as far as people getting on airplanes, bookings, travel, that type of thing. And when you get places, if, if you know, if I were to fly to, let's say I wanted to fly down to Miami and go visit my dad. Well, most of the restaurants there have been closed recently, so there's no reason for me to go. But as, as places open up, especially in New York, you're going to see people start to travel more. So that's definitely a huge, huge sign. All right. Uh, let's talk about a couple... Um, Let's talk about a couple mall stocks we're looking at. Children's Place, they do Build-A-Bear workshops. They're up 11% today, close to 11% today. And so much so that I'm actually um, finally going to get in on this stock. So currently, the the recommendations they have for this is a 25% buy, 63% hold, and a 13% sell. Um, but we're starting to see movement on this. Um, over the last week, it had a big drop, which is great. It allows us to buy it. But if you look, it's, it's moving up and up and up. So we're going to take uh, a peek at that and put a limit order in on that one. In fact, let's just go right to our chart on that one. So it's sitting here at 2019. One of the rule or 2090. One of the rules that I have is when a stock takes a hit, if you're going to buy it, you want to buy it just above, somewhere near the bottom of the hit if it's going to be a limit order. And if it doesn't go there, we don't buy it. So I set this at about 18 89 so we'll round it up to about 19 bucks which is about the average of what we see about right here so we are going to do a limit order for 100 shares for 19 bucks if it goes to there if it doesn't go there we won't execute it but i'm only going to buy that on my terms um, all right let's talk about movie theaters reading international small set of movie theaters they do have some here in san diego uh, it's up 11% today, and I think it's buoyed on another stock we're going to talk about, AMC, in a little bit. Um, but movie theaters are starting to open up. Theaters are starting to release movies. I saw one yesterday where they were talking about they have certain um, studios are actually releasing movies into the studios. And then you have other ones that they're releasing, like they'll watch the Star Wars trilogy, and you'll go watch a re-release of it, but you'll watch it in the theaters and the comfy chair and the movie popcorn and all that fun stuff. Um, so that one's up 11% today. Cinemark, another one, is up 8.5% today. AMC, the big mover lately, is up 16% today. And if you look at them over the last week, you see this big jump. I mean, they're up 15% over the week, and you see a big jump there. All of these are painting the same picture that people are going out and they're not really scared of coronavirus. I'm going to show you, um, what's this called? Uh, I'm going to show you an article that I read today. All right, so check this out. So we're going to go, I read this article this morning. They say an abnormal, let's see, where is this? Is this the one we looked at? All right, let's do, we're going to go Texas County false positives. Is this the one we're looking at here? Boom, boom, boom. All right, we're going to get to, let's see, I think it was 8,600. Boom, boom, boom. No, it's not 8,600. We're going to go to the news. Collin County, that's what it is. So let's take a look at this one here. So it looks like the 1,200, po there's a couple things we're going to show here. 1,200 positive cases reported last Friday were actually from tests between March and July. Kind of important to know that, huh? So let's go to, let's see, we'll do Colin K. 
County, Texas. Cases. Yeah, so this is interesting. This is the nice wording they used here. They said significantly overstated case data. So what is the number that we're looking at here? They had 4,600 active cases. That's what they said. And it turns out that they had like, I want to say it was like 140 cases. And so much so that the county commissioner said they have no confidence in the accuracy of the data reported the Texas Department of Ed, um, of whatever services, Texas Department of State Health Services. And you guys can look at that yourself, but it was it was crazy. It was, um, yeah, it was basically down to like, it went from like 6,800 cases to like 140 cases. And so that brings us to the last couple things that we're going to talk about. Number one, the Dow uh, briefly turned positive for 2020. Think about that. It's positive. So in January, before coronavirus hit, the economy was booming, and the Dow is actually higher now than it was then. So think about that. And that's and plus you got to add all the fiscal stimulus that got thrown in there, which means we're going to go way higher. So everything's going in the right direction now. Let's take a look at the Corona Bros here in San Diego, and you might be in a different place, so just understand that. But this is kind of a good synopsis of kind of where we're at um, for coronavirus. Um, probably It's probably going to be similar to where you are to some degree. But we were doing good, and then we had the protest hit right here. You had the incubation period, and then the cases went up, 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 up. And then look at this ski slope down. You can see that trend line is clear as day. It's going down, down, down. You look at daily testing. They're running out of, they're having a hard time finding enough people to test. Like it's, it's flat. They can't get any more people to test. The positivity rate keeps dropping. This is the gold standard number. This one keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. Hospitalizations are dropping way down. Take a look at hospital bed use. They're only using 300 hospital beds. We have 6,200 hospital beds. Look at that. 60. 6,112 hospital beds. So apparently we lost uh, a few hospital beds. Deaths by day, way down. I mean, it's way down here. The trend line is right here. And if we look here, it's two per day. People, we have 3 million people here in San Diego County. Two per day. You can get hey, two people die from chicken pox per day here in San Diego. All right. And then we look at this one. The people that die. For those who aren't familiar, you have the death date, the age, the gender, the race, ethnicity, race, ethnicity, the part of San Diego they're in, and then under, whether they have underlying health conditions. All of them are yes. Look at these ages. 83, 81, 72, 73, 67, 71, 92. This person had a really long life. And then 58, you know, probably had diabetes. So let's think, let's go to the next page. So you're thinking, okay, that's only eight of them. Look at this. This entire page. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody here has underlying health conditions. Let's check the age. 46. Kind of young, but if they had diabetes or they had a really, really unhealthy, then that tells you a lot. Uh, 71, 61, 65, 78, 89, 96. I mean, who I would kill to be 96. Most people are not going to get to be 96. This person lived a great life. And they lived in North Coastal San Diego, which means it's the nicer part of San Diego. So this person was doing well. 83, 83, 56, 84, 71, 65, 72, 95, 97. This is crazy. 91, 93, 86. Guys, I, I, I really don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you're one of the Corona bros that's scared to death of coronavirus and is panicking all the time, then, you know, the ground's coming out from under your feet. There's not a whole lot of rationalization to do anything from a scientific perspective. We're getting over this. I don't know whether it's herd immunity. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but we're getting over it. So what does this mean? Well, when you go to your stocks, it means that you need to get invested. And on this chart, we look at basically exactly what my investments are in real time. You can take a look at these. You can, again, you can download this and go through it on your own. Um, but this got up to a hundred, almost a hundred thousand before it dipped down to about 50. We're now back to 80, which is just really, really good, but we're going to get way over a hundred thousand. I mean, a hundred thousand is our next, just our next milestone. Um, but if we look at here, we have a bunch of stocks doing really well. 
We have, I think, leader in the clubhouse is PVAC at 183. We have Crestwood Equity. PVAC's an oil stock. Crestwood Equity is a is a oil stock as well. Caesars Entertainment or Casino at 163. Signet Jewelers, the mall jewelry store at 158. They do, what do they do? K's Jewelers, I think. Um, Redwood Trust is a REIT at 150. And a, a bunch of the other stocks are doing good. Red Rahman Group is about to break even. PBF is an oil stock. I haven't owned it that long, but it'll, it'll come back. I'm not too worried about that. And um, the only ones that are going to take a little bit longer, GNC, because it went through bankruptcy. For those who don't know, it was just a flyer for me. I figured I'd throw money at it and see if it has one of those post-bankruptcy um, jumps. So I have a limit sell for this one. And then XAN is commercial real estate. Again, I, th I thought I'd try it out. We'll see. It's down 25%, but um, I, this is going to be a long-term rebound, but this one will be fine as well. Overall, the stocks I own from what I bought them were at 44%, but considering all the stuff that I invested on and took gains on, uh, we only deposited 33000 in. We're sitting at 81000 right now. That is a gain, including the margin that we're using, of 95%. So we're basically doubling our stocks. So with that being said, we're waiting to see if place, uh, what is it, the Build-A-Bear place um, comes through. If not, so be it. And then we have some limit cells that we talked about over here. But overall, for those who are new, we are projecting uh, to be at about 300,000 when all is said and done. And let's see, DraftKings, as far as the stocks we have, are already doing pretty good. Again, that one went down a little bit today and then rebounded. Um, but when you see the fantasy football and everything being betted, the, the, un, the pent up demand is going to be through the roof. So with that being said, get your money in now. This is, I've never seen a time where you can trade like you're an inside trader. It's as simple as that. You can trade like you're an inside trader, like your buddy gave you a huge tip on this stock. Like you ran into Jeff Bezos in 1993 at you know a starbucks or whatever i guess he was up there i don't know where he was at in 1993 but you ran into jeff bezos and he said hey i'm going to be starting this book company called amazon you want to get in the ipo i mean that's kind of where we're at right now so sit on your butt lose money get on robin hood get a free stock click on the link in the video description but get your get the investment in and get started now there's a ton of money to be made with that being said uh, I will see you manana to get more information on the sales cheat code go ahead and click on the subscribe button below also down below in the video description you know down there there's a link that takes you to our website that gives you additional content some additional freebies that we have and gives you information on some programs that we have that have been proven to help people to make sales easy so that you can make the kind of money you want live the lifestyle that you've always wanted and not have to struggle in the process. And what might be the coolest thing of all is you don't have to put much effort into it. It truly is a cheat code that most people don't know about. And it's a cheat code that can change your life today. So click on the link below and let me help you start to experience these results starting right now.